the clashes between azerbaijan and armenia is something that has caught the attention of the world it is something of uh, of of a concerning development a disturbing development with me is the deputy <laughs> minister of armenia to talk about uh, the situation how things are panning out on the ground so welcome to vion uh, so we know the situation how it is uh, uh, been panning out we know the clashes have left number of people dead if you can talk us about the situation as of now what is the situation on the ground uh, is it uh, a situation that is uh, uh, going in a terrain which is of course negative negative or uh, there is hope that there will be a de escalation very soon thank you thank you very much uh, immediately i have to respond that the abandoning the peaceful negotiations of Nagor on nagorno karabakh uh, conflict settlement the militant dictatorship of azerbaijan backed by turkey have instigated a large scale war and in one word to respond to to, to answer your question now the the large scale war uh, is taking play, place on the ground in particular on the on 27th of uh, september sunday early morning between 6 and 7 uh, they have uh, the, the 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 azerbaijan with uh, the all its possible military <laughs> instruments i mean i mean the uh, uh, airplanes, uh, heavy artillery, uh, drones, uh, tanks, and all the possible uh, supplies. I mean, they have started to uh, started a massive attack towards Nagorno-Karabakh along the entire contact line between Nagorno-Karabakh and 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 uh, Azerbaijan. So, uh, targeting the civilians, civilian populations, the capital of Nagorno-Karabakh, Stepanakert, city of Martuni, and uh, many casualties are there. So uh, uh, I have to say immediately that the defense forces or defense army of Nagorno-Karabakh, they have reacted, I mean, in a very defensive manner, but at the same time in a very targeted and, and productive way, uh, dirty to say this, but I have to, that they have reacted in a defensive manner on the aggression which were implementing the uh, Azeri military forces jointly with the Turkish. So the, the philosophy of the military operations or defensive activities or defensive operations, which are uh, which the uh, defense uh, army of Nagorno-Karabakh is implementing to provide the security of its population. It's about 150,000 uh, of people of Armenian origin, we used to, which used to live there for 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 centuries. So it's a large-scale war between Nagorno-Karabakh and Azerbaijan, uh, backed by Turkey. I mean Azerbaijan. And uh, the, the 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 last point here is that they are uh, uh, expanding the geography of this war, and they are approaching the Armenia as well, taking into account. That on the Armenian territory, the Armenian airplane military jet has been downed days ago. And yesterday evening, we have witnessing very next to the capital of, Yere of Armenia, Yerevan, the uh, UAVs flying, four UAVs of Armenia, of Azeri origin, which used to fly ar around. They were downed, of course, but this is another attempt to provoke another escalation. And so what kind of global support are you getting when it comes to the clashes? We know that the region is divided. Uh, there are countries who are backing you, but there are countries who are not backing you, especially when it comes to Turkey. So if you can give us uh, the details about the countries who are supporting you and uh, how do you see India's support? No, it's it's uh, the international community is well aware, aware that this uh, uh, imposed or instigated war has been uh, well planned and uh, well planned jointly with Turkey. Uh, so, uh, it, and it was very obvious, it, it is very obvious and uh, documentally proved. I mean, there is no alternative opinion. So, uh, uh, the uh, fact that the, 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 the situation needs a de-escalation, it's, uh, it's very, very, very obvious, and all the international community, with all its leaders, I mean, they are calling 
to to de-escalate de the situation to stop the military mili military oper operations there. But the destination of all these urgent calls is Azerbaijan and and Turkey. Because uh, wh why I'm saying Turkey? Because Turkey is very much involved uh, involved within this. Uh, military operations, which has been ha, has been initiated by by Azerbaijan, and this is very new component. Uh, I mean, within this uh, part part of the political map. I mean, they are practic practically there. They are helping not only politically. They are uh, prem uh, supporting not only political uh, politically Azerbaijan, but as well uh, as in a very practical with a very practical. Um, uh, ways. I mean, the military presence there, the, their weapons is there, starting with the airplanes and ending with the uh, with the drones and uh, and and of course the the military personnel. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have heard uh, reports of uh, Turkey sending jihadists in the, this uh, clashes. Uh, if you can talk us about that, is it true, sir? Oh. Uh, uh, this is not a question. The 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 the, the way the, uh, many many people at many many medias, uh, even the countries, they they have they were questioning this days ago. But now it, it became very very obvious. Uh, I mean, the not only jihadists but different mercenaries from the northern part of Syria have been recruited. And they have they they have arrived in Azerbaijan via Turkey, and Turkey was very instrumental within this recru recruitment process. I mean, uh, so the, the 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 numbers are very different, starting starting with a uh, thousand, ending with five thousand. But documentally, it's it's uh, I mean it's very very obvious and very proven that they are they are there to fight against Nagorno Karabakh uh, people. To fight against uh, Nagorno-Karabakh Defense Army. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sir, talking about uh, New Delhi, how do you see India's role? We know that uh, India has reacted, calling for restraint between the two countries. But uh, uh, we know that uh, you have good relationship with uh, New Delhi. In fact, uh, Vion spoke to uh, the your Prime Minister last year. He talked about many things, uh, closeness between the two sides. So, what do you expect from New Delhi? Uh First, uh, we value very much the quality and the dynamic of our cooperation with India. India is a very crucial partner for Armenia, not only within our bi bilateral agenda, but as well as uh, within the region and the international agenda. And this is, this is very much in line with the Treaty of uh, Friendship and Cooperation we are implementing uh, jointly, jointly uh, with India. So, uh, as uh, uh, I have uh, mentioned uh, in the beginning, that I mean the de-escalation de is very much important, as well as the importance of the unacceptability of the involvement of the third third parts within this uh, mil military or uh, operations there within this large scale uh, scale war. The unaccept unaccept unacceptability of this is is of a uh, huge importance. Do appreciate the positioning uh, of the on the de-escalation of the uh, situation on the ground in Nagorno-Karabakh, as well as unacceptability of the involvement of the third parties, which has been reflected in the joint statement made produced yesterday by the leaders of the Minsk Group co-chair OSCE Minsk Group co-chair countries namely Russia, United States and France, Trump, Macron and Putin, they have called for a stop, stop the military operations and plus, of course, to, to the, the, the fact that, that, that uh, the, the, the third party is very much involved uh, the, and the, the, the name of the third party is Turkey, that this is, this is they, have, they are considering acceptable. And th th this is very, very dangerous. This is very unpredictable. And the outcomes of this would be very, very dirty. Mm -hmm. um, so my last question to you is uh, Pakistan's role. We know that there are reports uh, coming here, at least in South Asia, about Pakistani nationals present in the clashes. Uh, 
how true is it also sir i mean how do you see pakistan's role in a sense given the fact that pakistan is ally of turkey you know uh, in uh, there are single countries that uh, they have supported azerbaijan in this uh, within these uh, developments which are taking place now in Nagorno-Karabakh. And the single countries are, of course, Turkey, as I've indicated, with its very military and very political support, very practical support, and Pakistan. Uh, and many medias are reporting that uh, Pakistani fighters uh, have left Pakistan again via Turkey, and yes, they, they have reached uh, Azerbaijan to start the uh, to join the uh, mercenaries which are operating in Azerbaijan, and th this won't be surprise for us. I mean, uh, uh, we do believe that documentally will prove. I mean, if it is so, document. I mean, it, it practically it will be proven very soon. I mean, even today. So you do you think that there, there is a considerable, considerable possibility of Pakistani nationals taking part in the clashes, of course, on the side of the Azerbaijani? I I can't. We can't exclude this possibility, taking into account that uh, they used to act in the same way in the beginning of nineties uh, during the large scale war, to, uh, war took place in Nagorno Karabakh again between Nagorno and Azerbaijan. Uh, and it was ended, let me say, with the ceasefire agreement in '94. And these guys were there, or I mean, of a party origin. They, they did, and it, it wouldn't be surprise for us uh, whether this, they, the, their presence will be there this time as well. And yesterday, since yesterday, different medias are very aggressively uh, and document documentally reporting that they, they are already there. Mm. Well, thank you so much, sir, for speaking to Vion, talking about the current situation on the ground and various aspects of uh, the clashes uh, which are happening, which, of course, is now a major, major global concern. Thank you so much, sir. I thank you very much.